Ski for Light is an organization that holds a week-long cross-country skiing event all over the world that has been evolving over the last 40 years. It is often described as a life-changing experience for both the participants and the instructor guides who attend. So Ski for Light is an all-volunteer organization. We were founded in 1975, and the concept was to introduce the sport of cross-country skiing to people with visual or mobility impairments. The events have been happening every year, and it's been held all around the country. This is the 49th Ski for Lights event. It's one week, we come together from all walks of life, all different parts of the country, even the world. We have several countries represented, the UK, Denmark, Norway, which is where the concept of skiing with the blind originated. This is the first time this event has been held in Rhinelander. And we are just grateful that there is well, just enough snow on the ground that we've been able to do a little bit of skiing. We are teaching basic skills to people who sometimes have never even been out on the snow but we believe that the winter outdoors are for everyone. Copen says with volunteers, sponsors, and incredible local support from Rhinelander, they've been able to plan a great event. They are offering many different things like skiing, adaptive sports and games at the Hodeg Dome, swimming, cycling, hiking, and snowshoeing. So just making the most of what's here. Um, we're very good at adapting and being flexible, and with all the local volunteers, I know we'll have a great event. Tamara Lundy, a blind participant from New Orleans, shared how she has become a part of this event. I had a, I have a friend here who um, actually uh, has been doing this for like 15 years now. And um, he encouraged me to come along. I had read about Ski for Life years ago, and you know, due to my mommy responsibilities and work, I just didn't have an opportunity to be here. So last year was my first year to come here. And I had a wonderful time, and that's why I'm back this year. Lundy says this experience has changed her life. I'm from New Orleans, and so, you know, this is not an event that most people would uh, be uh, keen to uh, want to attend. So when they found out, um, so first of all, my relatives, they were like, girl, you're not going, you, you're not, you're blind, so you can't go skiing. And I'm like, but I am. So I had to show, send pictures and videos to them last year when I crossed the finish line that, hey, I did it without you. Reporting from Rylander, Shauna Johnson, Newswatch 12.